Hey everybody, Keith K here with another Green Hell tutorial from deep in the Amazon. I was thinking about making a water tutorial to show all the different ways uh, that you can collect water. Uh, so that's one of the essential macronutrients that you need to track here on your watch. And as you can see, I'm running pretty low. Um, but uh, I decided I'm going to do them uh, in a bunch of short videos and then put a playlist together. Uh, folks seem to like the short to the point videos the best. so. This video is going to cover early game water when you haven't really discovered much uh, in the way of water in your notebook, right? There's no entries here. So this is a pretty early game. And um, I built a little bit just to get um, somewhat set up. The one thing that you are definitely going to need is uh, you're going to want to have an ax. So um, one of the ways we're going to get water is through coconuts and you'll need that ax uh, to split it open. And the ax is pretty straightforward. It's one of the first um, tools that are uh, in your notebook to start the game. So you just need a stick and a stone to craft those. And if you haven't seen how to do that, uh, you'll just find a stone somewhere. Um, even from the ground, you can actually go to crafting and you're just gonna drag over one stick and then you have your stone ax. As you can see, I'm not going to do that because I've got one made already. Um, and my guy's uh, complaining that he's pretty thirsty. So we need to take care of that. And <clears throat> there are some fruits that provide hydration. I don't see any in the near vicinity. But uh, we're going to look around and see what we can find here. That's really kind of the first order of business is see what's in your surroundings. Uh, fruit plants, there's two types of fruit plants that I've, un uh, I've discovered so far in the game. And um, if I come across them, I'll show you. But uh, those provide a little bit of hydra hydration, but fundamentally we need to find coconuts. That's going to be our best way to go. And uh, you're going to want to look around for these here coconut trees. And then the coconuts will be on the ground somewhere, yeah, potentially. So. If you go to a spot that has more coconut trees, you're more likely, I think I saw something fall right there, you're more likely to find what you're looking for than one all by itself. But generally I start looking up, find my coconut trees, and then look on the ground, and here we are. So we have a green coconut, um, and our options are to pick it up or destroy it. We definitely don't want to destroy it. Oops. So if you pick it up, you can see there's not a heck of a lot you can do with it. It doesn't go in your inventory. So it's one of those things where um, either through trial and error or through watching a tutorial like this, you figure out that you're going to basically whack it. Um, it's kind of like Stranded Deep if you've seen that, um, that set of tutorials that I've done or if you've played that game. But you hit it once and you've got some clean water available. So. Let's take a look here. We're pretty low on water, so we'll grab this, and then you'll see as soon as you have a coconut, you get the coconut uh, bidon or bidon. I'm not sure how to say it, and this will let you store water, um, but we're not going to do that right away. So you just need a coconut and a rope. What we want to do is drink this water, um, and actually, let me, if you hover over, you can see it has 15 of 20 hydration. So max hydration is 20. Currently, there's 15 in it. We're going to go ahead and drink that. You can spill it out, which seems kind of silly. Okay. And then we're going to want to harvest this. And what you get are two coconut halves. And then you have to... Har you don't want to... Well, I suppose you can actually just eat them uh, if you want the fats and carbohydrates. So let's see how we're doing. I need both anyway, so that kind of helps. Um, and you'll, what you'll see is you get a coconut bowl, cook half of your coconut shell. You can also harvest it instead of eating it. Say you're full up and you can save the coconut flesh for later. Um, but we'll go ahead and eat this anyways. Let's see how we're doing. All right. Um, bananas, I believe, uh, are pure carbo carbohydrates. So let's eat once. Yeah, it's just 25 carbohydrates. Once you've eaten it, you can see what uh, it provides you. And um, early in the game, there's plenty of rain. 
So I'm just going to make my way back to our base location. Hopefully I didn't get lost, which can happen sometimes. Um, here we are. It was somewhere nearby. And there'll be a lot of rain uh, early in the game. And kind of the easiest way, honestly, is to just uh, go to your inventory, grab your coconut shell, drop it. Now you don't want them to stack on each other, so you can either move forward or backward and drop it again. And as you keep finding coconuts, you just lay out, you know, four or six of them. And then when it rains, these will fill up and you can drink from them. Uh, so there you have it. You um, will have a pretty uh, consistent supply of water, at least early in game when it rains rather frequently. And uh, you can check out uh, my other videos to see uh, more advanced ways to gather water later in the game. Um, I'll also come back on this video in just a second and show you some of the fruit that will give you hydration. And then we'll wrap it up. Be right back. Okay, here's the first fruit plant that I wanted to show you, and uh, it's pretty distinctive by the orange-colored fruits. Um, and you can just grab them and store them for later, or you can certainly eat them right off of the um, tree, or the plant, I should say. And these give you six carbohydrates, but also eight hydration. So they are a good source of water. Um, I'll find the other uh, plant and be right back. Okay, and here is one of the fruit trees that you will find just spawning uh, throughout the jungle. It'll always say unknown fruit, um, and you can just eat this off the tree if you like, um, but you can see here that once you've eaten it once, uh, it will give you the information about it, It'll, and this gives you 16 carbohydrates, 8 hydration, and then it will also uh, remove parasites. So this says minus two. Um, every time you eat something where you get infected, um, and this will usually happen when you are, have dirty hands, so keep an eye out if you need to wash yourself before you eat. Uh, but if you were to get, say, four parasites for some reason, this would take off two. So you'd have to eat um, two of these to get that benefit. And then you can just eat them from here. And you're good to go. All right, and the last thing I'll show you here is just that once the uh, coconut bowls have filled up with rainwater, you'll see water clean on the coconut bowl, and you can just hit eat a drink, and you'll see you got 10 hydration. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, if you enjoyed this, please do like and subscribe to see more. Uh, I will be putting together additional water uh, tutorials for Green Hell, and we'll put them together in a uh, single playlist. So see you back here soon for more, and thanks for watching.